Hi, right, folks. Uh, welcome back to to Glasgow News. Right, okay. I just in my last video there, I, I brought the sad news about young Aidan Cochran who passed away. And then um, I was looking at some other stories, <clears throat> and given and given how sad that is, you know, and how lucky we are to have children that could still go to school unlike Aidan's parents. I came across this story, and this is this is the state our society is getting into, and we really need to do stuff about it. Because I'm sick of hearing about these people out there. Right, now wait, wait till you hear this. So it says here, this is a story by Kirsty Stewart. Alright Kirsty. It says here, Scott's lollipop man banned from high-fiving kids after one single complaint. Parents are raging after learning that a pillar of the community, and that's the man there, his name's Jim Hewitson. He was ordered to stop high-fiving children as they come across the street. Now, apparently that man's been there for a decade, looking after those children. And, and generations of children, you know what it's like. Your, your kid's at primary school for a short time and that's their introduction. You know, that's how they learn to be part of our society. And that would include learning about crossing the road and being safe. And you've got a guy there, here he's here standing just here. And he's put his body in the way of any cars coming that way in an attempt to, to, to stop drivers hitting these children. So what happens is, there's a wee lassie there across the road and she wants to high five him. But somebody made a complaint and he was ordered by the council to stop high fiving. Now that that has to be overturned. Alright. And further to that, well we'll get to that in a second. So let's just um, read a wee bit more about it, right? Outraged parents have hit out after a lollipop man in their children's primary school or at their children's, children's primary school, was ordered to stop high-fiving kids following a single complaint. Former farmer Jim Hewitson has helped kids cross the road in rain, wind and snow for the past 10 years. And many of the youngsters at Galston Primary at East Ayrshire have happily given the 59-year-old father of two a high-five when crossing the road. Now what's wrong with that? Right? That's the kind of society we want. But many parents are enraged after getting an official message telling them, a sinister message I might add, telling them to order their children to stop the practice. The school messaged on January 13, this is the school, could all parents please ask their children to stop giving Jim the crossing patroller on this on his road crossing sign a high five when he takes them across the road. A complaint has been made to the council about this behaviour and Jim has asked us to make parents aware of this to avoid any further complaints. Thank you for your support in this matter. Now there's a wee Wayne trying to give him the high five. Alright. That image is by someone called Joel Hutchinson of Deadline News. Joel, that image is uh, on the record, so it's a sort of fair use scenario, but good picture. I like I like the picture. Gail McFarlane was among hundreds of parents to take to social media to complain. She wrote, Poor Jim is going to be so disheartened by this. Everything he does is for the kids. He's a kind, caring man with not a bad bone in his body. What has this world come to? That he can't even high five kids, which gives them joy. So sad. Well, I agree, I agree with you, Gail. This will hit Jim really hard, as he can't do anything uh, right just now. All he wanted to do is to make the kids happy and help out. Jeanette Crawford said, This can't be serious. What in the world is happening to this society? What a sad, sad day for all concerned. Do 
Gillian Malone wrote, Only someone with a deviant mind would think it appropriate uh, sorry, would think it inappropriate for an adult to high five a child. Now, let's just read what the message said. Could all parents please ask their children to stop giving Jim the crossing patroller on his road crossing sign a high five when he takes him across the road? Jim was worried about it. Now, apparently the council boss has come out to Jim and told Jim he'll not be sacked for it. But what I would like to know is who complained? So what we would like, what I would like, would be somebody in the council to leak that information, because hopefully they've gave their name, and their phone number, and we can publish it, and we can let them know what the community thinks of them. Maybe it would be a good idea for that person to think about moving from the community, because. Obviously they don't fit in. There's something wrong with them. There's some sort of malfunction going on there. Now you've got my vote, Jim. That jacket looks ridiculous. But apart from that, so do these shoes, Jim. Anyway, never mind that. And it goes on to say there's a lot more stuff to be worried about than people high-fiving a lollipop, man. God damn right. They said, it said, it said, speaking about the decision, Jim himself said, I was told that I could get sacked on the spot. However, my boss came out after the complaint was made and told me directly that I, would, I wouldn't lose my job, which was a relief. I felt upset about it. I was questioning everything I, I was doing. He added, I, I love this job. I love interacting with the kids. I, I love it. One of the mums has told me that seeing me in the morning makes her day. Well, if she lived with me, Jim, it wouldn't make her day. Seeing me would make her day. But, you know, I'll give you that one. However, is it no sad, folks, that some degenerate rat bag has been out and complained about Jim the lollipop man? Anyway, folks, if you like the content, hit the like button, share and subscribe. Peace out.